morning, everybody, wake up. Good morning, everybody, wake up. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Wake up. Good morning, everybody. Wake up. Hello, and welcome to my vlog. My name is Deborah. You guys are watching Simply Deborah, where I create content all about fashion, beauty, and everyday living. And if that is something that you are interested in, I hope you will become a part of my family. Go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button right down below. I would love to have you join my team. But if today is your birthday, hey, happy birthday. Enjoying yourself. If today is your anniversary, happy anniversary. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Um, yeah, and if you would like to have, if you would like to receive a big fat shout out, make sure you comment down below with your name and your birthday of who you would like to have shouted out, whether it be you or somebody you know. Let me know, and I will be so more than happy to make that happen. Oh, I'm trying to get the best lighting. So I'm, I keep moving my um, my tripod or my camera, little tripod that I'm holding my camera up on. But yeah, so, uh, and if no one has told you today that they love you, let me be the first to tell you, I love you. Yes, I do. And thank you so much for watching my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I hope you will become a part of my family. Like I stated earlier, go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button and become a part of what we do love on one another and if you are returning hey welcome and thank you so much for coming back i so greatly appreciate it just wanted to give some little thank yous real quick i have it written down in my book so if y'all see me looking down that is what i am looking at maybe i could try to hold it behind me so it doesn't look like i'm looking at looking at it <laughs> but i would like to give some special thank yous for wishing my grandson a happy birthday. He just turned seven and he was so excited. So again, happy birthday, little deal. His birthday was on the seventh. I want to thank Sharon G, Thelma Johnson, It's My Life, Daryl Lynn, Carolyn Johnson, Patricia McMore, Deidre Wright, Angela Spencer, O5 TV, and Uptown Girl 575. Thank you so much for all the love and the birthday wishes. He really, really, really enjoyed them. So thank you so much. <clears throat> well, excuse me. And also, I just wanted to give a little, some little shout outs just to Shirley G. Thank you so, so, so much, girl. Love you to pieces. Thank you, Uptown Girl, again, 575. Y'all are so special when it comes to y'all. Comments down in my, uh, in the comments just the chit chats that i have with you all i really 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 do uh appreciate them and i enjoy y'all so much just talking to y'all so thank you so much thank you brandy is as always angela spencer robin harris t you know i love you ladies on sweet home and yeah so thank you so much for all the comments down below i so greatly appreciate them Guys, I am on my way. Yep, as y'all can see, I got my hair down. I never had my hair down. <laughs> but I am, um, actually, you see how thin and just like lifeless it is. That's why I keep it up in a ponytail. But, um, so, oops, sorry. I am actually getting ready to go to the grocery store. As y'all already know, my routine. So, yesterday, oh my God, I should have vlogged. I did so much. Got up, cleaned up my house, cause it was a hot mess. So I cleaned up my bedroom, changed my sheets. Do y'all change y'all sheets weekly? I do. Change my sheets once a week, every Saturday morning. Put on class, ah, uh, class. Put on fresh linen and wipe down everything. So I did that on yesterday, and then I cleaned out, um, cleaned my kitchen. Of course, cleaned out my refrigerator. And how many of you all clean out your refrigerator? uh like once a month once a week i clean mine out once a week everything that is in there have to come out all the food that was cooked last week that was stored in the refrigerator for leftovers was tossed out i do not like going into a fresh week with old stuff so i try to keep everything nice and clean and caught up in that way i don't have 
just say at the end of the month, all of that piled up in the refrigerator. That would be so gross. So yeah, so I cleaned out my refrigerator once a week on Saturday mornings. I take everything in there, wipe it all down, and get it all nice and clean. So I did that on yesterday. Then I washed folded clothes so that I don't have a whole bunch of clothes to fold. I'm still washing. I have, I think about two, I think about two more loads left, but no, actually, yeah, two. And they're really, really um, light. Just my sheets off my bed. And um, I have a turtleneck I wanna wash, and that will be on um, delicate. So that is all I have going on with that. And then I have to fold up some clothes. I still have some towels down there I need to fold up. So I actually do that today when I get back from the grocery store. So I am going to actually head to, I need to go to Whole Foods because I need to get me some salmon for this week. I need to get me some vitamin water. Love, 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 love the vitamin water. Thank you, Bella, for putting grandma on. Oh my God, they have a um, one that has, um, what is the name of that one? It starts with an A, but it's vitamin water and it has, um, what is a what is those little red pomegranate? <laughs> it has pomegranate in it and it tastes so good. So I wanna pick up some more of those. I have one last week and I had another vitamin water. I think it was a cherry flavor, but it's no sugar added to it. So it's really, really, really good. And it is an alternative for juice. So I'm gonna try to turn my husband on to that because he loved juice and it's a better um, source of something to keep you hydrated instead of reaching for juice all the time. So I'm like, if I don't buy the juice, maybe he won't notice it. And I'll try buying the vitamin water and have him drinking that. Guys, I have been doing really, really, really good with the water source from my sink and putting it into my pitcher and it has been doing really good. So I have not had any bottled water. I wanna say in about, since um, Christmas, cause that's when I got my um, water thing. So I have been doing really, really well. And I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving not having to have bottled water around, although we have some just for emergency use which my husband keep in the basement, but for the majority of it, me, my husband, and my daughter, we've been drinking water out of there. Uh, my daughter has a really, 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 really big mug that she drinks water out of, and it has like little quotes on there, like it starts off the morning by, good morning, um, you can do this, or something like that. And then like every two hours, it has a quote on there, that um, inspires her and encourage her to drink more water. So I thought that was really awesome. I cannot do that because my bladder, oh my God. And she said you will be going to the ba bathroom like having to urinate all day long. So, and I'm already on 10 when it comes to that. I can't hold anything. So my bladder is so freaking weak, oh my God. So I would just be a hot mess when it comes to that. So I, I don't do that. Um, but I probably need to because I'm sure I need to consume more water than what I'm drinking um, because I'm drinking coffee in the morning. For some reason, that coffee and coffee cake that I have in the morning holds me over. And for lunch, I barely want anything. And uh, yeah, it holds me over to like dinner. So... I'm not eating as much and I'm not drinking as much as well. So I do need to consume more water in my um, intake day to day. So I I'm, I'm, know I'm not getting the required recommend um, that they recommend for you to get. I know I'm not getting that. So I do need to consume more water. And my husband and I, we he got us some workout stuff so we're supposed to start working out. Tomorrow make two weeks that I have my biopsy, so I should be good to go. She told me to wait two weeks, so I probably start tonight, just something little, nothing big. Um, the area where they have to go in to do the biopsy is still kind of tender. If I touch it, it hurts. Um, it doesn't hurt, hurt, but it's, it's tender. And there's still like a little lump in there. Um, and I, she stated that that would happen from the blood that is being dried up in there. And then um, 
she said after a couple of weeks or so, you know, it should um, dissolve, go away, but I still do feel the lump in there. Um, but before I was not feeling anything, but that's what I know that that's what it is. So, and it is bruised uh, because of my skin. I'm so, as y'all can see, so pale. Y'all see that? I hate that. I love women that has a lot of melanin in their skin because the back of their hand to the palm of their hand is like a difference. And I love to see that on women for some reason. I don't know. I'm a, I know that's crazy, right? But I just love to see the darkness and then turn it around to see the lightness. I just think that that is such a beautiful contrast on women. And I wish I had it, but unfortunately I don't have anything. I am so pale y'all. But yeah, so in any way, so I did that. And what else did I do yesterday? I washed my hair. I uh, washed it, blow dried it, and flat ironed it. And I did my nails. I was quite busy yesterday, y'all. And with all of that being done, um, I was done with everything I wanna say. Well, actually, I washed my hair, uh, put it up in a turn, and then I left and went and got something to eat. I went to Culver's because I didn't have Culver's Friday night. Nobody felt like going out. And so we had um, California pizza. So we ate that on Friday night, my husband and I. And I don't know what my daughter ate. I think she went out. But we ate that and um, what else? So then I came home and I did my nails. As y'all can see, I'm loving this pink by Essie. I'm going to actually go to Target today and see if they have another color. I think that color is so pretty and it almost looked like a gel nail. I am really feeling that. So I did my nails again on yesterday. So I'm, go I'm going to go and see if they have another color. I'm loving the Essie um, nail polish and crazy enough, it stayed on the whole week. I mean, little bits was like chipped here and there, but not like normally my fingernail polish would chip off. But this one lasted about a good week. So I was really impressed with that. Normally, by me washing dishes during the week, cleaning during the week, um, my nail polish never stay on. So I'll actually show you at the end of the week what they're looking like. How about that? So this is what they're looking like today. And I'll show you what they're looking like at the end of the week. So, and that one is this one. So that's my right hand, and then the other one was my left hand. So I'll show you what that looked like. And then I actually gave myself a pedicure as well, because them toes, oh my God, that fingernail polish. I hate bending over, giving myself a pedicure. So that's like the, I try to do that when I really, 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 really have to. It's just the bending over, oh my God, it is a mother. And even if you prop your feet up on something, you still bending over to polish your toenails. So that's just what stops me from really doing my toenails um, as often as I should do them. So when I see they start growing out, um, and I hate, hate long fingernail to toenails. I cannot stand long toenails on me or anybody else. If I look at a girl toes, one day we were in, um, my husband and I was in, uh, what is the name of that furniture store? Um, we were in a furniture store. Um, oh my God, Harlem Furniture Store, I think it is. But we were in the furniture store and it was a young lady um, in the back at customer service where we were at. And I looked down at her feet and her toenail, her first toenail, y'all was about that much off from like, it was a fingernail. I was like, where they do that at? I. That is so, just so gross to me. And it was in the summertime, although she had on sandals, but I'm like, still, you know, that thing will hurt me. Oh my God, I don't know. If y'all got like long toenails, comment down below. I don't like no long toenails. Mm -mm. That is one of my pet peeves. <laughs> no, but I, I, I like my toenails cut really, really short and straight. That's it, that's all. I don't want no long toe, toe, um, toenails. Um, so yeah, and then I have on my fuzzy socks because they keep my feet so nice and warm. OMG, I love them. And I am actually getting ready to put them back on. 
I love these things. And I'll be wearing my Ugg boots uh, for the outfit of the day. I have on this, um, this is a, I love this purple. It's like a, um, a light uh, lilac um, sweatshirt that I picked up from Target. So I have that on. I have on some blue jean Levi's and my fuzzy socks and high shoes that I washed yesterday. And so, yeah. So my husband is ready now. So we are actually getting ready to head out. So I need to go to Whole Foods. I don't think I need to go to Jewel's. Um, I do need to get some fresh bread though. And I need to go to Target so I can get my um, soap. And that's it. So he just opened up the garage door. I'm gonna grab my coat. And I actually got my coat. I gotta get my purse and my, um, my purse and my boots and put those on. And I guess I need to turn off the TV in the living room, I mean in the bedroom since I'm not in here, huh? So that's all. Light is off. And I got my purse and I got my boots. And I need to get a mask. Just some of the essentials that you need, guys. when going out in this climate. So let me get my mask. And now I am going to put on my coat before we can head out. And I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Bye-bye. Bye. I'll talk to y'all in a moment. Bye-bye.
right, you guys, if y'all hear that bang, and my husband is around here doing work outside the house, and he is just going for what he know. And I need to fold up some clothes and finish washing because I do not want to leave anything over to tomorrow. Y'all, I thought I was almost done, and then here come my daughter with some more clothes. Girl, why you didn't bring these clothes down over the weekend? Why you got these clothes sitting in your room? Ugh. She really can wash them herself. I may just leave them down there for her to do that because I really don't feel like being bothered. I do so much all day long. I'm cleaning constantly, wiping down things, going grocery shopping. They just look for mama to do it all. Here's my husband as he's calling from the outdoors. Hello? Hey, can you uh, open it, uh, turn on that first switch outside if I can turn this vacuum on? Yeah. It's 2 o'clock. Okay. All right. Let me just finish up this real quick. Okay, bye-bye. So, uh, can I get up? <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck and I can't get up. So, yeah, um, as I was saying, I'm like mom of all trades. I do it all. Everything. More than once during the week. So, I need a break. I need, I need, I'm tired. I just go, 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 go. And the sister needs to sit down and chill. So, yeah. So, I was actually writing down in my book different topics that I would be talking about. Trying to get that together. Trying to answer emails. And I tell y'all, my work is just never done. But that's okay. I love, 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 love being busy. I hate sitting still because it's like I'm sitting still. Okay, you could be doing something, sis. So I hate sitting still, not doing anything, allowing the time to pass me by. I love being productive. No matter what it is, I just love being productive, doing something. I hate sitting around doing nothing. Only time I like to do nothing is when I'm asleep. <laughs> and I don't get in much sleep. So I love to just keep myself busy, keep myself occupied, keep myself going. And yeah, I just, I hate sitting still. I don't know what it is in me, but I just hate not doing anything. It feel like if I'm not doing anything, my day is just went past and I was not productive in it. I didn't do everything that I was, you know, could have did, could have done. Um, it just seemed like a waste. So I don't let any, mo any moment go by as a waste. I'm trying to do something constantly in my day to keep busy, to just keep myself moving. So later on today, I'm actually gonna film a get ready with me video that I was supposed to film earlier today, but yeah, that didn't happen because I just was not able to film that because I had things to do. I really, 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 really hate these lines. I really need to do some kind of surgery to get rid of them. Um, yeah, so I think I am gonna go ahead and get these clothes folded and put away. And I uh, may start a new vlog where I go get my dinner tonight whenever my husband come back upstairs. So I may do that. But I am just waiting on him, y'all, so we can go get our dinner. This video is already gonna be long enough. I did not vlog yesterday, cause like I said, I was just so busy and doing so many other things. So I didn't do that. Y'all, it's a new app out and it's called Clubhouse. Do y'all know about that? Well, you have to be invited in. You can't just join it. And one of my girlfriends invited me in, one of my sisters. Not my sister, sister, but one of my sis. Y'all know, y'all, like y'all. So she invited me in and um, I'm in there. And yeah, it's really, really weird. It's like a Twitter, but it's like a live Twitter. So everybody is on there talking. So I just was like, oh, okay. And they have different rooms where you have different conversations. And you have like a, like one room it I have. Everything you have on the 11 is, is plenty enough to make sure I still have the 11, right? Okay. So I'm, I'm going to hold off until the 13 comes out. 
So it's just rooms that really, um, a whole bunch of different rooms that you could go in and just listen to people talk. And there's usually like a, a room with like somebody that started the room, like a chat. And I guess he's like the, uh, the lead, the lead in it. And he can invite people. He can, you can join the forum and you can be up top and talking, or you can stay at the bottom. Sometimes they'll call you up top and then you can share your thoughts or share your experiences on something. And there's a lot of celebrities on here. It's really, really, really interesting. I don't know if I like it or not. The, um, the, I haven't been on it that long to say if I like it or not. So I'm not really, really sure, but very interesting. Why is my hair looking like that? So yeah, so I am going to go ahead and get these clothes upstairs, fold these clothes up since I, um, since my husband have not yet come in and I'll start on that. So that is what I'm getting ready to do. I need to call my grandson and tell him my, uh, his auntie dropped off his card. So I'll do that as well. So let me go get these clothes y'all. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. Ah, I whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. I'm lightheaded now. I should have did that. Oh no, I gave my heart away. Went a bit too far. So wrong. Oh no, open up my soul. How could I know you're cold? Shame on you. Ooh, ooh, should have seen what you were like. Dangerous nice. You got me all lost. So blinded. You got me all lost. Listen to my heart. I gotta be lost. So So keep me in your 